Hi guys, it's Dave here, back with another video. Have any of you looked at self-custody in XRP without the need of a hardware wallet? Why might you ask? Well, that's a good question. I mean, if your current stuff's okay, you probably wouldn't need to do this. However, you may decide that you want a new, new XRP account without a Ledger or Trezor wallet. You may want to give someone a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or a, a thank you gift of some sort. Or you may just want an extra wallet for yourself. Well, all of them are all legitimate reasons, and I'm sure you could probably think of ones on your own. Now, what I use is, or what I have used in the past, is a wallet, or paper wallet, which you can search on Google, by the way, called Bitthump. Now, Bitthump? Now, they, are, they actually do have their own validator, and what they do is on their website, bitthump.com forward slash paper wallet, which you can see up there, they actually give you a alternative to what's currently out there on the hardware wallet. And with that, you can connect it to an XRP client. So you'll be able to connect it to Zoom, which I will show you how to do momentarily. So basically, obviously, do not send any XRP to these proposed addresses just here, because obviously, <laughs> that it's no longer it's no longer a secret but what you can do is these will generate you an xrp account with a, with a wallet on there as well so if i click generate new what they'll do is they'll show you over there basically different wallets that you can use obviously off screen and that way what you would do is you would hit print this will open up a print page now mine's currently set to save pdf because i haven't got my printer set up that would be the most ideal way, setting up a printer, printing it off on a piece of paper. Now, you can actually save it as a PDF and then do it that way, which is what I'm going to be doing. But obviously, then you would probably require, if you are going to print this out, you're going to probably require someone else to print it off. So obviously, you're going to have to trust yourself to oversee that process. So I'm going to click on Save. And then what that's going to do, I'll be able to save that on my machine so this has just given me a secret a key and a address key just here so what I'll be able to do is obviously print that off fill it in and then gift it to somebody what I would say is if I was to send 100 XRP to a current wallet what that would do is it would send 100 XRP minus the fee and keep 20 XRP in reserve, which protects it from spam, which is one of the one of the ledger mechanics. So obviously you would have 80 XRP to to play with, unless if they alter the reserve fee. So what I would do here with this is now that we've got the secret address and the address, what we'll do is we'll install Zoom on an Android device now. I'm using Bluestack, which is an Android emulator. So I couldn't, for some reason, show you Blue. I couldn't show you the Zoom app on my current phone because of the security policies and other things. But I thought, what better way to show you and actually installing an app on Android and then setting it up. So also good as well. Should you not have an Android device or a smartphone you're able to set up this on I believe a Mac or PC whatever and then set them up this way so there's also another option as well so I'm just going to quickly go into the Play Store and type in Zoom there we go click on install that is going to download and install the wallet for me click on open and what we'll see here is payments and payment requests to, on the XRP ledger. So I'll click on start. So I'm going to set up a passcode. Um, for the sake of it, I'm just going to put 589589. The nice famous number in the community, whether you love that number or hate it, I just use it for entertainment purposes. So, right, I'm going to put in that magic number again. And I'll hit save. Read this at your own risk and consider, obviously, 
consider it at your own risk. So I'm going to hit continue. And it's just going to say some of the apps and other things that he's done. So I'm going to click on close. Right, I'm going to add an account. So if I click on the add account button and then click on the and click on the import existing account. So what you can do is you can have a read only or you can have a full access account in there. Or alternatively, you can actually create a new account with Zoom without doing it through Bitthump, for example. But we'll click on full access in here. So, right, so secret numbers, that's, I believe, is the Zoom app, which is if you're recovering an existing account. And family seed. Now, that actually is the secret number for, the, for your XRP account. So I'm going to click on next. If I just copy this address just here, bear with me. Next, right, I'm going to copy that password in there. So if I click on next, there is the address, the actual XRP address. So it actually knows what XRP address it is based on the secret key itself. So if I click on confirm, it's just going to say you have imported a new account. It still needs to be activated. Obviously, I understand. And then you can sign in either with a face ID or fingerprint or that kind of thing. So once again, I'll let you choose. But for simplicity, I'm just going to call this XRP Dave. And hey, congratulations. I've just set up a Zoom account. So obviously my account isn't isn't activated so what i'm going to do now i'm going to pause this delete this account and then put in my current youtube account so uh, with on this zoom app i can send and receive and receive xrp based on that i can on most other apps as well but i wouldn't actually set this up on zoom from the paper wallet until you're actually looking at sending xrp this is the beauty of it so Obviously, I can request and send XRP from Zoom, but obviously the paper wallet with the actual address on, if you just wanted to send 10 XRP each month to that account that you've just set up from Bitthump, you can do that quite easily. Just as a quick one, whilst we're here, now you can actually, like I've shown in the other videos, you can actually set up the XRP toolkit and use the message tool with your Ethereum address and the other conversions on there to actually put the Zoom wallet on the XRP ledger so you will still get your flare tokens as well. Just go on to the XRP toolkit website and if I just click on connect wallet, do it through the Zoom app, click on Zoom. Now I've managed to click on scan and basically I've scanned my address. I'm gonna click accept on here. So, right, let's put in the passcode again. And that gives me a transaction ID. And then that allows me to open up the XRP toolkit on the ledger. So with that here, all I'll do is just click on properties on here and then put your message key in there. I'm not gonna go into more details than that and then just click on update, job done. So I've explained that in other videos. So just go back if you need help. Obviously, just one more thing for a wrap up is on this, on this address as well, to check your balance on your XRP wallet as well, what you could actually do is just go onto Google and just type in XRP Explorer. And then what you can do is you can actually put in the address on your wallet and see all of the transactions on here as well. So nothing much to see on mine really. I've just activated mine on BitTrue and done things through that way. So nothing particularly fancy. But again, if you didn't want to set up a Zoom account and you just wanted to check your balance on your XRP ledger, you can always go to bitthomp.com put the wallet address in and then obviously preview your transactions as well. So just as obviously something I do recommend 
just play around with little balances first, just to obviously make sure, because don't send all your XRP or, all, or a big amount, obviously, and then it all goes tits up. So, obviously, I'm not accepting any responsibility should you decide that you're taking or you're going down this route, but I'll leave that up to you. But here's just some handy hints and tips on how to handle and self-custody your XRP without using a ledger or any hardware wallet as well. So if you do do this, let us know how you get on. I'd love to know any feedback. And of course, like and subscribe, that would be very nice as well. So I'm hoping to do more of these videos at some point. So just walking through different features and looking at alternative ways of dealing and looking at crypto. So, okay guys, uh, as always, I'm gonna drink my cup of tea and leave you to have a lovely weekend and a lovely day over and out